Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Windows Vista Lite. Now, as we all know, we've taken a look at quite a few Lite versions, including unofficial Lite builds like Nexus, Lite OS 11, and also things like Lite OS 8.1, Windows XP Super Lite, etc. However, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Vista Lite. This is obviously, as the name implies, a very lightweight version of Windows Vista. Um, we've taken a look at a custom Windows Vista build, Windows Vienna, um, two videos ago. However, I figured I want to revisit Windows Vista as it was one of my favorite Microsoft operating systems ever. I really like the way Windows Vista evolved on Windows XP, even if others didn't necessarily agree with how it evolved. So, we're going to boot into this ISO. I found this on archive.org, which is where I find a lot of my custom ISOs. It was about 536 megabytes, which is a little less than what the regular Windows Vista installer would be. And I've done no research into this. I don't know where it came from, but we're going to take a look at it and see what was cut out of Windows Vista in order to make Windows Vista light. So this literally just looks like the regular Windows Vista installer. It's even asking us for a product key, but we're going to skip it. Um, all right, Home Basic, Home Premium, Ultimate. Accept the terms. Next, Custom. And we're just going to install on this drive right here. And just like that, that was it. This is supposedly Windows Vista light. And here we are the installer, or rather the setup out-of-box experience of Windows Vista Lite. So we're just going to name this Windows whatever, blah, 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 blah. Let's get the default background later, time and date, and that's it. I believe it's going to go through, oh, never mind. It's going to automatically take us into the desktop. Perfect, because this is Windows Vista Ultimate. So, all right, here we are. That was extremely quick. So the first thing I'm going to do is see if we can get VMware tools on here. I believe we should be able to because it's just a regular Vista. Take a look in our computer here, uh, VMware tools. This is the Windows Vista one, but it requires OS, it requires um, Service Pack 2. So obviously, you know, we're not running Service Pack 2. So I'm going to see if I can change the resolution up just a little bit so we can scale it. I mean, that's probably the best we're going to get without VMware tools. But here we are, the Windows Vista Lite. First thing, it looks a lot like Windows Vista. I mean, obviously, that's what it is. Um, by default, we have Bluetooth, our USB devices, our network, as well as our volume. Um, that's all that's on the desktop, or in the taskbar tray, rather. And then we have our recycle bin on our desktop. Very clean, very cut-down version of Windows Vista, I mean, so far. Opening up this, the first things that we can see are the Internet Explorer, we Windows Mail, the Windows Photo Gallery, as well as Windows Live Messenger download. I feel like that definitely could have been cut out if they were trying to make a light version of Windows. Um, going into all programs, we can see defaults, IE, contacts, fax and scan, Live Messenger, Mail, Photo Gallery, update, accessories. This appears to have been cut down very much. System tools, yep. Extras and upgrades. I feel like this could have definitely been cut out too. No games, no maintenance, no startup. Wow. Okay, so again, very cut down, very minimalistic. I feel like there were some things more that they could have cut out. I don't know if it wasn't possible. I feel like this could have been cut out as well as a lot of this up here. But other than that, I mean, there's a, it's very cut down. There's very minimal applications that aren't needed here. Someone who makes Windows today should take notes when they, you know, ship Candy Crush Saga on their Windows 11 and Windows 10 machines. Moving into computer, let's see, we have 36.9 gigs free of 39.9. That's just about 3 gigabytes, or actually it's exactly 3 gigabytes of free space, or not free space, of used space, which that's not bad at all. That's actually pretty good for a Windows install. Um, I also bet you this would probably run a lot better on, you know, older machines. Not that I would recommend using Windows Vista. Um, as we can see, we are using 45% of the CPU, which I believe I put one core on this, uh, and 281 megabytes of RAM out of one gig. So honestly, it is doing pretty well for being Windows Vista, because we all know Windows Vista had absurd hardware requirements that people didn't really like. So this is actually pretty crazy. Uh, we're just going to take a look a little bit around the OS first. I know that in Windows 7, uh, if you rated the performance, then you could get games. I'm really curious to see if games are included in this build of Windows, but it doesn't look like we can even open the performance information, which is fine. As we know, this is Windows Vista Ultimate uh, build 6000, no service pack 2, which is why we couldn't install Windows 
why we couldn't install the um, VMware tools. So with that being said, I mean, very short video here, very minimal things to take a look at, but I just wanted to make a little quick note on Windows Vista Lite. Again, if anyone has a really old Windows machine that is supposed to run Vista and they want to kind of restore it back to its former glory on Vista, but Windows Vista doesn't run too well on it, this is more than enough in order to get that OS up and running again. One thing I really want to do is I want to see what would happen if I tried to use Windows Vista as my day-to-day -day machine. That would be pretty cool. But with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as we do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.